How's it going everybody? Welcome to Quinn Strength. My name is Austin Quinn, uh, owner of Quinn Strength Condition. Today we're going to do a kind of different video for you. So if you're new, usually the videos is vlogs, it's workouts. So today I thought I'd do something different. I, would, um, I was watching old footage of games and one of the games that popped up was that famous game of Down vs Derry in 1994. Game close to my own heart being from Derry. But watching it was amazing and um, I thought I should maybe do a reaction or a video or like a commentary to it. So I don't know what this is going to be like, this might be complete shite, but it's one of them games that I think everybody should watch and everyone should see. There's like a name and a clip of it or highlights on YouTube. Um, so yeah, we'll go through and watch it. If you haven't watched it, go and watch it. It's, it's a pretty interesting game. Now, just to set the scene for this here friend on this movie, not aware, this game's back in 1984, so before I was even born, but also... Um, 1994, so Derry had won All-Ireland in 93, Down had won I think the year before in like 91 or 92 or something like that there. So this is like two of the best teams playing each other. But also this is in, um, back at that stage, the provincial championships were knockout and there was no backdoor system. So basically if these teams lose in Ulster, they don't get to even go through to All-Ireland. It's obviously different now. Um, so it was really all they play for. So it kind of sets the scene for it. But one thing whenever you're watching this and one thing I think is quite good and one thing I think is um, good to think about is imagine what a game imagine what a game like this would be like now with number one the new rules in place and number two if these teams didn't really have to win in order to go through. Just think about that while it's on. So yeah, let's fucking watch it. Okay, let's do this here. So here we go, big referee. There you go, one of the fittest referees. Look at Derry's midfield, so you have Tohill there and you have Brian McGilligan. Tohill probably, even if you're ranking current midfielders, probably the best midfielder or one of the best of all time. Um, but a serious fucking athlete. If you haven't gone Wikipedia and the man's played some... man was in the fucking Man United training team at one point. Okay. Also, just to point out, retro Gaelic tops, why has nobody started making them? Like those, that dairy top's pretty fucking cool there. Business idea for somebody. Really something to be said for just putting the ball into the forward line. You don't see it anymore. This year's game has a lot of it. I like it. So this game here you see Mickey Linden for down and um, if you haven't if you're not aware of any of these kind of players from the 90s you want to check out him this here game the defenders on him are all fucking really top quality defenders and how they defend them in like any other circumstance would be perfect but his fucking movement is crazy like in that day way the way he just shimmies past is is pretty crazy but I missed that One thing that's very noticeable about the players is just, although these are all, I'm not fucking hating on anybody, you, you can see the size difference between players then and players now. You can see what strength and condition has done. You know, obviously the t-shirts don't do them any justice, but um, you can see the physical size difference between players now and physical and players back then. Nice score. Good block. Go on. 
serious athletes, you just sit fucking length of the man's legs. It's very rare that you see someone that's that big that can move as well as he could. Um, it just seemed like one of them players, as soon as he got the ball, people were just, just hanging off him, just the sheer size and power he had. I'm kind of surprised he maybe he didn't spend more time in Australia at AFL. Um, I'd love to get chatting in about that to figure out why. Why length of legs? You can say what you want about Brawley, but the man could ball. He seemed like I'd say he was just a real fucking hateful corner forward to Mark. But the man could ball. He's a great score. It's been a while since you've seen a situation like that at the area where there's flags and fucking people are stacked in Celtic Park. Hopefully soon again, but that would have been a great day to be at. Tell you the man can ball. <clears throat> Rocking a pair of Sundico fucking uh, soccer gloves as well there. <laughs> Again, I'm telling you, there's something to be said for just wheeling ball into the forward line and letting them do the work. Look at this. Like he made the returning and shot before he even seen the goal. So he knew a good forward and he didn't have to fucking look. Too much space. Right there. High tackle. So you got it. Oh yes. Feel like that should be a free kick. Good block. Oh. Oh. Serious hamstring flexibility, overhead, uh, overhead kick behind the back. This game though you see it there, the intensity is fucking crazy, like the players barely get a second on the ball because everything is just so intense and there's so much riding on this game here. Take it over. 
good score. It's amazing though watching that there, seeing how even kind of tactically things will have changed. You, you will very rarely now see somebody kick the ball from their own 45 along into the to the other 45 when it's not like a dead cert pass, whereas now this is only like one club regime, but you know, it's just kind of get it up to the other side of the pitch and the forwards of the work to an extent. But it's interesting to see how much tactically and gameplay changes over the course of 20 years. Free kick. Oh. Watch this here. That's oh, not this one. That's not very nice. So. It would be so interesting to get players that were, you know, top quality in those days and put them into the games now and see how they would cope. Would it be? Would they play as well? Would they struggle? How would they find it? It would be interesting just to like plop a team like that into a game now. Great score. You don't see many good free takers now. That was nice. They score that goal there. There's three men basically on top of him. It nearly seemed like a lob the keeper. Impressive, but also possibly defending questionable. Like that score there, you look at the defending from McKeever, he probably couldn't have done anything else. He pushed him way out to the side, he was near hand tackling and uh, he had him pretty much off balance. But he just had one wee fucking bit of space and was able to get the score off. It's the difference between the people at the top and then the middle of the road forwards. And then he's... Watch this here, look he's so tight to him. He's got his hands on. Pushed him way out. Had his hands over his neck and he's on the But still, tidy, well done. Too long. That was the game that, or that was the goal that killed the game there. Um, just that man off the shoulder just destroyed them. Now nowadays you would maybe question if you had that sweeper, or you had that sort of player in place, would a goal like that happen? There just was a space in there, you know, whenever everybody's marking their own man, space gets created that wee bit easier. Great goal though. Not good for that either. Good finish. Top five. Yeah. 
look like this is this is the quarter final of a of Ulster Championship. You compare that now to what it would be like one on one or will it be Leinster fucking wherever it is. Look at what do you see this year? Look at the intensity, look at the fucking you think they've won the championship. Because they know how much is riding in each game, how important it is. And they've also just beat that's uh, Pete McGrath managed for Manny a couple of years ago, but yeah. It just shows you how much was on and relying on this game. Look at it. Fucking crazy. <laughs> Hard to beat a pitch invasion. Yeah. That there game, go and check it out on YouTube. The YouTube channel is actually called like uh fucking PJ's classic GEA videos. Good man, PJ. But um brilliant game. Brilliant game to watch. Um and it's good just going back and watching and seeing how the game plays change, seeing how players are different. Um, and just seeing how much the game flowed because of the tactical changes, but it's a really interesting contrast. Um, yeah, that is the first reaction, reaction contrary, I don't know what the fuck you want to call it, video. Um, if you enjoyed it, let me know, and um, if you maybe want to see me do another one, comment the game, comment the year, and we'll, we'll go over it. But yeah, Derry V. Down, 1994, go and watch it. And thank you for watching, subscribe, and all that shit.